Vladimir is here and today I'm going to present a new part of the devlog for the Lazy Galaxy. So first of all what happened this week? I've been focusing on adding ship abilities to make combat much more interesting because it was okay for an idle game but if we're just aiming at rewarding the micro we have to focus on the good combat. So first things first what I've added. I've added the new abilities to the ship and that should make the combat much more dynamic. For example, if we take the first ship, Wasp, and uh, you can see the list of abilities below. There's the torpedo, torpedo ability that deals 500% of ship DPS damage per second. And we know the ship DPS right now, it's just written here. So different ships have different DPS value, depending on their upgrades. After we upgrade them, you see the DPS value increases because the damage goes up naturally. And yeah, for example, at level five, it's not visible yet, so you cannot understand if the ability is unlocked or not. But the Wasp is level 2 and Torpedo is level 5, so if we upgrade the Wasps to level 5, we can use the Torpedo ability after this. And uh, I've added the UI to the ships, as you can see the left part of the screen is your ships, the right part is enemy ships. And I think I messed up the leveling a bit because this will actually this is level 4, not 5, and uh, yeah, the numbering thing starts from 0, not from 1, so you'll have to bear with me while I'm losing this. But yeah, the idea is that I've introduced the UI that shows the current ship health, and uh, as you select the ship, it's going to be visible which ship you have selected. Uh, later on, as you click on these panels, you will be able to select the ships, just uh, the same way as you select it when you do this rectangular selection and uh, you can see the enemy levels and health on the right side of the screen. So this one is pretty straightforward, but uh, the biggest challenge was hiding it so that it doesn't look too bad and doesn't take the whole screen. And yeah, you see I've upgraded the ship. It will have the torpedo and smart nanobots abilities, which will heal the ship if it drops under 40% HP. And uh, let me try building the ships, sending them into battle. And against smaller ships, torpedoes are not very useful. I'm going to show you how torpedoes work a bit two levels forward in just a second. Uh, yeah, you see there's this larger ship and let me try to take him down. First, I issue the order to my fighter to move forward because torpedo fires forward. This should encourage the positioning of your units. And then after it took the right position, I just used the torpedo skill. It's not very beautiful yet, but you will see that torpedo takes off from the middle ship, see? Yep, and then it hits it. Again, it should have much more polish compared to what it has now, namely because you expect some boom explosion from it. And right now it just doesn't happen, but uh, it does the trick. See, it hits. It does good damage and after that you just progress faster. So let me try to use it again and uh, see torpedo flies towards the ship, does lots of damage compared to DPS and uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I've been up to this week. Next week I plan to add achievements and maybe add more abilities including two AI ships but abilities is the straight goal. Mostly it's achievement now and polishing this base process. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great week ahead of you and best wishes to you. Vladimir is out. Bye.